Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Becca and today I have an unboxing of the January Luma Crate. If you guys are unfamiliar with the Luma Crate at all, they are a monthly UK-based bookish subscription box. In every box, you will get one brand new hardback, either fantasy or sci-fi release, as well as a handful of bookish goodies. Now, this box was kindly sent to me by the team at Luma Crate to show to you guys. So thank you so much to Luma Crate for that. And if you would like to get your very own Luma Crate after watching this video, I do have a discount code for you guys. My code is Becca5, and that will get you a discount on three or six months subscription descriptions. So I actually woke up not too long ago which is why I'm looking considerably more disheveled than I usually do and I haven't even had my coffee yet. But while this arrived I thought I would do a quick unboxing for you guys so I don't remember the theme of this. There is a theme for a subscription box that I think is the January theme. It could be the February theme for a Luma Crate. That is Rebellious Royals but I cannot say with any certainty that that is what this is so we're just gonna crack it open and have a look inside. And oh my god, I did. I got it right. Rebellious Royals. I'm actually real proud of myself there. So this is this month's theme art. Here are the spoilers. I'm not going to look at these, but if you guys would like to or you would like to refer back to them, you can pause this here and have a little look. And the theme for February is The City Is Ours. And this one is for fans of Crescent City. Very excited about that. The Falconer, Cemetery Boys, The City We Became, and Gilded Wolves. So that is some real exciting stuff. I actually don't know what the book is for January for a Luma Crate. I usually am pretty good at guessing them. I'm never sure what the beginning of year releases are so that's going to be a mystery as well. Top thing on the box is some tea. I have actually finally been going through my subscription box tea and trying it all. This one is Masonite Mint Tea tea and on the back it says fine peace with the clean crisp flavor of our classic mint tea made with peppermint leaves and nothing but i really like peppermint tea and this one is inspired by mirage by samaya dowd next up we have this white box oh this looks like it has a lot of pieces in it so this is lots of die cut wooden pieces. Am I going to assemble this here? It looks like it's going to make a cube. So this is by no means assembled correctly. This is the top panel that goes on. But I need to be working on a flat surface to click this together. <laughs> Probably. But this is a story box. So each panel has a different image on it. And if you put a candle in it or shine a torch through it, it will project shadows. This one is the top piece. And I believe that this is inspired by a hyena story that is told in Songs of Wraith and Ruin. I've obviously heard of a story box before. I've never had one. But this is such a cool idea and not something that I would have ever thought of being included in a subscription box. But it's really cool. Next up we have what looks to be a pair of fluffy socks. These have a little crown on the top. So I'm going to say that they're inspired by you should see me in a crown. Yeah, the spoiler card says you should see me in these socks. Socks are such a simple item but something that I always need. We then have a little envelope which I think will be the monthly pin. In every Illumicrate it's kind of like a bonus item. There is an enamel pin. Here is the one for this month. This one was designed by Stacey McAvoy Kant and it is inspired by the book of the month. Then we have this and on the front of here it says peace your own story the folk of the air series oh oh i love that art actually this is a jigsaw that is designed to look like a book but the art i believe is going to be this picture here and i've spoken frequently about how i don't really like holly black so i've never read the cruel prince and i have no intention of doing so but i really love the fan art from cruel prince and every time i see the fan art it makes me really want to read it even though I know that I'm not going to like it but that puzzle is really pretty so I will probably do that. Tucked down the side of the book of the month the last item in the box is a set of Merwild bookmarks. Now these used to be included in the special edition Olympic Crate boxes. They have since started to be included a couple of times in the monthly boxes. So I have a Nevernight set from a special edition box and I also have a Truth Witch set from a normal box. But these are a Court of Thorns and Roses. They're a Court of Thorns and Roses. <laughs> I really 
very excited. They're the same on both sides. And here we have Feyre. Then my boy Reese. I'm going to assume that this is Nesta because the next series of books is going to be following her. This one is Azrael. Then Cassian. And is this one going to be Elaine and Morrigan? And then finally Amran. I'm really happy about these. You guys know I love Mel Wilds bookmarks. And A Court of Thorns and Roses, of course, anything by Sarah J. Maas is my favourite. So yeah, love 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 these and then lastly we just have the book of the month so like i said no idea what this one's gonna be Ooh, that's a very pretty cover, but I have no idea what this book is. It is called Winter's Orbit by Everina Maxwell. I haven't even heard of this. On the front, it says one match can light up an empire. We have green sprayed edges, and it is also signed by the author. I really like that signature. Just a random side note. And then under the dust jacket, we have this that says, Your Grace, Your Highness. So I'm just gonna read the inside flap to you because like I said, I've never even heard of this book. Duty, politics, space princes, and rebellious royals, the Iskat Empire dominates its vassal planets through a system of treaties. So when Prince Tom, key figure in a political alliance, is killed, a replacement must be found. His widower, Janan, is rushed into an arranged marriage with the disreputable aristocrat, Kiem, in a bid to keep rising hostilities between two worlds under control but Prince Tom's death may not have been an accident and when Jaden himself is a suspect he and Kiem must learn to trust one another as they navigate the perils of the Iskat court try to solve a murder and prevent an interplanetary war. Everina Maxwell's debut is a space opera with high stakes multi-world politics and irresistibly engaging characters perfect for fans of Gideon the Ninth and the long way to a small angry planet. Well oh the author lives not that far away from me the author is from yorkshire so interesting um well the plot definitely sounds exciting i really really like this cover like the orange the purple and the green are really doing it for me and i'm excited about space compared to like this royal family so it seems like something i normally read about in fantasy in a sci-fi which is real intriguing to me but i would say this is a pretty solid box i don't think i need to tell you guys but i'm gonna tell you anyway that my favorite item from this month's box are the merwild bookmarks so please let me know down in the comments what your favorite items from this month's box are i'm just fanning these because i love them so much the link to illumicrate's website and all of their social media as well as my discount code if you'd like to get your very own box is in my description box thank you once again to Illumicrate for sending this box to me to show to you guys and aside from that please don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you wanna if you do head into my description box you'll also find a link to my goodreads instagram and twitter if you'd like to follow me on any of those as well as a link to my bookish body butter and candle website the instagram for that and a 10% off discount code but that's it from me today guys bye oh you bite your friend like chocolate you say you're a go where nobody knows With guns hidden under our petticoats We're never gonna quit it, no, we're never gonna quit it, no